Hey everyone, Tomias here. Welcome to another Audrey Gear video. So, with the game launching today, I hope everyone is enjoying the game. Again, I'm a JP client because I'm pre-recording this as I'll probably be busy with work. Hopefully, I'll have some time to play, but I uh, wanted to get this video out there to help you guys. And it's the top five tips and tricks uh, for you um, to avoid getting stuck in early game progression. And of course, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to LD Player. So thank you, LD Player, for sponsoring this video. And uh, it would really greatly help me out if you can click on the link to download Elder Gear uh, LD Player and play it on your PC if you are planning to play on emulator. I've played pretty much uh, all of my uh, Artery Gear games on the um, LD Player's 32-bit because 64-bit uh, uh, works for some people, but not everyone. But 32-bit uh, works perfectly fine with 60 FPS and very smooth game, uh, gameplay. So uh, my top five tips and tricks for players in general. Uh, so I'll just go to the uh, JP and the most difficult stage. Uh, first thing is make sure you have a proper team. And if you watch the uh, Ultimate Beginner's Guide, you'll know that what I recommend is your main damage dealer or cleaver in the third slot. Your first two are your tank slash healer and your support. And of course, your fourth position is flex. And I always recommend that you use a uh, type each. So you can say have red and uh, blue and green. And if you don't have Morris, uh, who everyone will get for free on day two, uh, you can use Komachi for now. And Komachi is a three star, uh, let me search this, three star healer. And that is also a uh, red typing. So right here, Komachi. Oh, sorry, that was not Komachi. Give me one second. And we'll do here Machi right here. Too many photos, as you can see. Um, right here. That's Komachi. Okay. All right. And then for blue, um, Alice and Grace, probably the best. And then for green, ideally you want Sirius, but Roko also works fine. And if you read the reroll guide, you will know Roko is uh, one of the uh, the best early game, um, one of the best early game uh, three stars. So once you've got your team ready and you go in to fight, a uh, couple of things you can do right off the bat. First is making sure that you set your AIs correctly. Um, to make sure that um, if you're playing things auto, things are working as you want it. So you can do this in uh, this interface here. And you can do that in the team selection or team building interface as well by clicking on the cog wheel under each unit. And for Morris, you want her to cast uh, skill 3 as first priority and then skill 2 as second priority. And then this way allows her to pretty much spam S3 into S2 into S3 because the second skill decreases her cooldown. So she has zero downtime in healing. And then for Alice, you want to use skill 2 as skill 1 and select uh, slot 3. And this is where our cleaver or damage dealer is. And then uh, skill 3, you can turn it off or uh, select it as your second highest priority. Uh, and after that, make sure you have supports. So let's exit out of this first. So we can see that uh, supports are in this game. Not everyone knows about them and not everyone use them properly. You actually have to set it up uh, before you start. So here are your supports and then you can set it up. Uh, for the second tab, you must choose Rayla. She is the best offensive one. And then for the third tab, I go with the blue one because she essentially cancels two instances of damage, uh, whether it be AOE or single target. And then this is what I was talking about. Your AI setting is here in the cockwheel as well. Okay, so let's go into um, the fight one more time. And this is kind of um, two tips mixed into one. One about the support, setting the support. And then the one is about uh, setting your AI. And also, I guess, another one about Morris. So let's just say I'm attacking. And then I'm going to get Morris to go through a skill, a skill cycle. So S3, massive heal for everyone and also cleanses. Okay, and then when it's Morris's turn again, Oh, and also I kept my series and Grace uh, not geared, um, so um, they don't wipe out everyone in just one hit. Okay, and then let's just say I'm normal attacking. Uh, and then Morris goes again, uses S2 on herself, and then that gives herself a 50% boost. So she goes again with the AOE team-wide cleanse and heal. So it's very, very insane. And of course, if you want Morris to move even faster, you can give Alice... Um, now you can use Alice's S2 to push Morris, and Morris will go 
with S2 and it's her turn again because she gets to keep her position on the action bar and boom everyone's full so this is a very very two unit synergy with Alice and Morris um, that can really really help you in the um, uh, in the uh, the gameplay and then what I will do now is I'll put everything on auto and I'm going to make sure that I select the supports on auto. So this is something that people don't click. Um, after you assign your support, you actually have to choose it uh, because you have three supports, but you need to choose which one gets auto deployed. Um, so this is not equipped and this is equipped. And the other thing is you want to keep this button off. This is using skill at boss uh, phase only. So. If you have this on, uh, your units will not use skill until you reach the boss, but you have it off, then they'll cast skill as normal. So let's do that. And also top right, this is priority targeting minions and this is priority targeting um, bosses. So you can see here, the shield guy is deployed. He's going to cancel two instances of damage. Um, doesn't matter if it's AOE or uh, single target, he will cancel that out. So I'm just waiting for them to attack. That's one instance and that's another instance. So after that, the um, the unit is gone and then, the, uh, sorry, the support is gone and then you can deploy it again as the bottom right gauge here fills. So very, very simple. The AI as well as the shield, uh, those two tricks really, really help you with progression. Um, usually after I show someone about the two tricks, um, they will no longer be stuck as um, those two uh, mechanics really um, help you with the uh, the initial push. And again, we see our uh, shield person coming up. And I think uh, this time now we'll be able to see it block an AOE attack. So we'll just wait for that. Oh, so it's still single attack because the bar needs to fill. Okay, I'm not going to show everything. It's going to take too long. But um, again, remember to deploy your shield guy or use Rayla. Uh, Rayla gives 50% um, attack boost as well as 50% crit chance boost. So she's more offensive. Um, but uh, deploy your shield uh, for majority of the uh, story it will be helpful. So those are the two uh, very early game progression tips and tricks you can use. I still have a few more. The second part, as we were talking about Morris earlier, is that uh, on day one, as you're pushing things, um, it depends on how the global launch deals with it. But uh, if it's like the JP launch, the uh, materials for the tech notes are gated. So if it's a Tuesday, it should be red. Um, so red is important because you want to upgrade your Morris um, on your second day when you get uh, her for free. And then you need to reach tech level three for a unit to unlock skill upgrades. Um, so until you unlock tech level three, you're not able, you're not, you won't be able to upgrade those skills. So that's why it's important on day one before the reset, try to farm stage five uh, for tech upgrades uh, because stage five gives you the blue as well as the green if that's the highest level you can farm then for sure at least reach tech five uh, sorry um, stage five for tech mats uh, so you can upgrade more is alternatively now uh, in the event because it's a sure event the um the mats should be available in the shop so if we look at um the shop here um Right now on JP, we have a fire five star unit event going on. That's why we have the um, the fire typing uh, mats. If it's sure, it should be fire. So even if you miss it on day one, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but just make sure you check to make sure it's not like blue or something. But yes, uh, worst case scenario, miss day one. You can still exchange it in the event shop to upgrade your Morris for day two uh, for extremely um, um, good uh, PVE healing that will help you with your progression. And then next, the two ones are what I touched on before in my Ultimate Beginner's Guide. But again, I'm just going to reiterate this for um, my uh, early game progression. If you're stuck, try to do the other game modes. Uh, not PvP, sorry. Um, but uh, push as far as you can in the various game modes. Uh, this usually allows you to claim more rewards from the Beginner's Questline as well as the Queen's Questline here. And that unlocks gears that you can use um, for upgrades. So gears you can equip 
And um, I remember the quest line will give you HP set gears, defense set gears, slap that on Morris, help you tank a lot, uh, as well as you ensuring the team survivability because the heal is um, based on Morris's HP. And make sure that um, you don't upgrade them past plus three or plus six, whatever you need to get by because um, tech um, gear uh, fodders and gear upgrade chips are very scarce in the beginning. And then lastly, if you're stuck again, you can always visit the event to do some farming. Uh, my advice is if you're stuck in story, first thing I would do is jump into the story for the event and then push as far as you can. So main story gets stuck, come to the event, push, and then try to reach X1 or X2. That's where the stamina efficiency for EXP and all the event currency is really, really good. Uh, so farm there and you'll get a lot of fodders, which will be useful later on as well. Um, yeah, so all in all, those are the quick tips uh, and tricks for early game progression. If you find yourself stuck, uh, you should be clearing 510 uh, very, very early, uh, day one, if not day two. And uh, make sure you remember setting the uh, team's AI, make sure that uh, they're targeting the right people um, and triggering based on the correct um, um, uh, based on the correct parameters and then uh, set your supports as the shield guy for defensive um, teams and then set Rayla for offensive teams and that should help you clear until 510 uh, to progress further and um, catch up with the rest of my um, my advice on the ultimate beginner's guide to mid game.